Hi everyone, welcome back to my floristry channel. Today I'm going to show you how to wrap up an arrangement. So here I've done an all round arrangement using Gerberas, Standard and Spray Carnations, Alstroemeria and Freesias with Eucalyptus and Hard Ruskers as my foliage. So here I've got some cellophane. It's about a metre and a half long. So the best way to start by wrapping up your arrangement is is to lay it on your workbench or table. Place the arrangement in the centre, so in between. So like, if you have a, a bigger arrangement, you may need to use two metres of cellophane, whereas if your arrangement is smaller, you can get away with a metre and a half, and then, and then, then you take both ends and lay some hair. and secure it with sellotape. Don't worry if you've got any gaps on the side because you can just um, put them on. Yes, you're literally trying to achieve scrunch top. So once you're happy with the with your display, yeah, keep hold of your scrunch top and then secure it with sellotape. And put your tape as close to the end as you can and then wrap it round. And then, then you take your triangular ends, fold, fold them in, Use a bit of sticky tape to hold it in place. So, so here, I'm sort of piecing it inwards loosely. Don't go too tight because you'll almost wash your flowers. any sort of open bits you can just fold inside because you've got a nice lot of cellophane. Okay, so I've now achieved the wrapping of the arrangement doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure it's neater. 
and then this is the final step I'm going to take my poly ribbon that I have here I'm using yellow because the majority of my flowers in this design are yellow got two meters here I've got two meters and I'm basically going to halve it I'm also going to show you how to make um, a really nice bow to decorate your arrangement. So, what you do is you take off a small bit because you're using that to tie, and then start at the end. You want to have a we call it the head and tail. So. Okay, so you scrunch it between your fingers, head and tail, and then you do the same again. You can make as many loops as you like. Okay, so once you've, once you've got the loops that you want, keep manipulating it with with your fingers and then keep it squeezed take your small bit of ribbon and then and then you tie it on Do a couple of knots to ensure it's secured. Oh. So here I've got a bow ready to go on. I'm going to tie it to the top. Sure you tie it quite tightly and the next thing I'm going to do is show you some tricks on what you could do with, with your bows. So with these ends, to give them a good look, I'm going to cut diagonally. Let's see. make a diagonal finish. Okay, so you can have ends like this or you can do a fishtail and to do a fishtail you literally just cut out a V shape and, and then you have two little triangles identical. Now I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these little ends here. I'm going to curl them. So, so you literally um, place the thin bit on top of your blade of scissors, drag it along, and then you have small curls. Don't worry if you don't get it first time, it takes practice. Okay, now I've achieved two curls. And there you have it, this arrangement is ready to be delivered or ready to go with whoever you're giving it to.